What's going on guys? So if you've played Diablo, you know one of the main things you do is collect items and stash items. Now there's many different strategies to this and every player has their own strategy which I think is, is pretty cool and unique. I wanted to make this video just to share how I do it and what I look for when I'm playing a season of ladder. So this is my character for ladder season 3 and I wanted to go over how I uh, manage my mules for the last two weeks. So starting with the, the main stash here, um, this is just my main character. Anything that I'm not going to transfer to another character I just keep here as storage. Any kind of charms I'm not really using anymore that are not too bad. My main shared stashes are used for common items that I could transfer between my mules. So right now I wanted to do a uh, 100 unidentified uh, charm video, so that's why I have all these here. But the main ones that I, I keep here are essences, so I could turn these into keys and trade them if needed. I have um, some rubies and emeralds to cube up some mid runes. And then over here, as I collect flawless gems, I put, for, for example, I have three here, or three here, and then I could just easily cube them into a uh, perfect gem, and I do that consistently. My other shared stash, I have um, pretty much low to mid runes in order. So I have L, L, Tier, Nef, F. And I continue as I get them, I continue adding them to the shared stash. And you'll see in a little bit how I organize once they get too far. So for example, the soul rune are already at the, uh, the five rune mark. And I'll move those over to my uh, Tier Tile Soul Mule. So this is just my main character, and now I'll go over how I mule my other items. All right, starting off. So we have our weapons mule here. I have a lot of flails. I have uh, four open socket, five open socket. Uh, we got usually for CTA, people want five open socket crystal swords and flails. Four open socket crystal swords usually for spirit. Sometimes they use six uh, socketed phase blade for um, six isted maybe like a Zerger Barb or something for max magic find. And then I have some uh, Colossus Valges for usually infinity. You could put insight for four open sockets. And then this season, I just started collecting different types of mosaic bases. I've already traded my best ones, but these are like the, the ones that are I still have just in case. So that's the weapons mule. All right. So originally I just had all bases as one character, but then I had to break it up into weapon bases, armor, and now I just have shields. So I have all my, my monarchs, I have four open socket monarchs, and then I have some superior monarchs that I found. I could possibly trade. They usually only go if, at this point in the ladder if they're four open socket, but we'll see. Some shields, sacred rondish, um, vortex shields, which is pretty nice, and a crown shield. These are all the armor bases. It's just called bases because that was the original one I made, but then I just decided to store all my armor bases on. Age plates, usually for uh, Enigma, three open socket. Arcan plate, same thing for Enigma. If it's four open socket, generally like chains of honor or something. And then just some three open socket helms. I don't know how this got in here. <laughs> Charms, pretty straightforward here. Any charms that I think have value from any kind of skillers that I roll are going to go here, including Sunder Charm and any small charms that I think are still decently valued. And I still have some unidentified ones that I'm going to include in my 100 charm video that I'm going to be making. Anything other than Perfect Rubies and Perfect Amethysts, I'll store here. And Perfect Skulls sometimes are, are valuable, but for the most part, Anytime I, I fill up a stash, I transform over and then I cube some usually grand charms to try to get some life skillers. While we're on the perfect gems subject, I'm going to go into my P ruby and usually depending on how many I find, rubies and amethysts, I might just use one character for both. So here I have about 18 perfect amethysts and 47 perfect rubies. Generally, people I usually trade on D2JSP and they usually take them in bulk and I can get some, some decent value for those when people are, are masked. Now, I, I, first week of ladder, I traded all my uniques in a kind of like an auction that I did, which was, which was pretty fun. And now these are the remaining ones that I've collected that I still need to trade or possibly use on uh, an alternate character. Another thing I do is any kind of set items. I kind of group them in just in case people are looking for... Um, 
you know, multiple set items, so I always know where to look, just in case I forget what I have. So we got our towel set, IK set, trangs, and then just angelic and other set uh, jewelry. And then some miscellaneous laying of hands, nages, elders. Now this is on to the rune section. So these are divided up usually into three or four categories because there's different packs that people take. So for spirit rune words, we have Telful or M, and then I have some hell runes. And usually people pay a good amount for each pack because they don't want to go and find all four, rune four runes plus the hell rune to destroy it when they don't get 35% faster cast. So these are pretty valuable even through like the second week of ladder. So I group them all up and right now I have about 10 to 13 sets, but only four hell runes because I've traded a bunch of these already. Now I'd like to eventually make a video once I hit level 93, but right now I have 28 rals. My goal would be to get 100 of those eventually and then make a video, but we'll see what, what happens uh, once I hit level 93. So this one I do Nef Shale Dole. Dole I could usually cube up to hell runes and I also store any extra lower runes on this character. And Nef runes are used for the blood crafting, so people usually want those later on in ladder. So I save those up. And we got, I put tier towel sole, but I actually have the towels on a towel full or M mule. So I just have soul and tier. Souls are another good one for, uh, for crafting later on. So I really should change this to just tier soul. Now this is my junk jewel mule where I just, every, anytime I farm with my sorceress, I put in the shared stash and then I just transfer them over. I actually just traded all 140 of these recently for someone who's doing crafter amulet crafting with the perfect amethyst and rao rune. And I got maybe, I think it was over two to three ist worth of um, value. Yeah, so I think I covered everything. Sometimes if I'm, I'm key farming, I make another character for, for keys, but I just deleted that because uh, I needed the space. So yeah, if you let me go, I'm inter actually interested to know how you guys uh, organize your stashes, or if you just kind of throw everything into uh, as you find it and then go back to farming, because that's a common one too. Um, but I like to keep it as organized as possible, so when I'm people are looking for an item, I know. Oh yeah, okay. Let me just if I'm not sure, I could just check that one specific mule rather than going through a thousand stashes. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to comment below with any suggestions or, uh, you know, I'm interested to hear how you guys mule. Thanks for watching.